my whole life has been fun, man. I mean, my whole thing has been seize the moment and seize the moment, if it's negative, then really jump on that moment. I mean, I went to, I'm, I'm, I'm a ghetto boy. I'm a real thug from the ghetto of South Side of Chicago. I used to wear a chain for a belt, man. I mean, I'm a real thug. Now take this thug out of Chicago and put him at Northwestern University. Now, Northwestern University is one of the highest intellectual schools in the country, okay? It was like, it's ranked, ranked number one and two all the time. I went to Northwestern University. I graduated from Northwestern University as an architectural engineer. So here's a thug with brains and also an extraordinary athlete. I was all American every year there. So now you put all this into one person and now you got a dangerous human being out here. You got a thug, you got an intellect, you got an athlete, and you got a guy who can talk shit, okay? Now you put all that together, you got the hammer. Now what is the hammer? The hammer is somebody who had a plan his whole damn life. Not about fighting society, not about fighting white people, because then, you know, I didn't have to fight white people. White people came to me because I've always been a star. I've always been an athlete. So I have never had any doors closed in my face because I've always been that star, right? I've always been that celebrity. So I don't know about closed doors, but I, knew, I do know how to knock down doors. So you take all this and you bring this individual to Hollywood, you got somebody sitting here, just like me, telling you how it is, not concerned about any ramifications, because there ain't nothing they can do to me that they haven't already done. So now, I'm bulletproof. I'm bulletproof, man. And if, and if they do get to me, I'll, come, I'll go to Europe and live, you know, which I did for 10 years. I lived in Rome for 10 years. I made 25 movies in Rome. I made a, a series of films called Black Cobra that I produced, directed, starred, and so I had a wonderful life living in Rome. But the film industry, died because they made so many other bad films, big budget films, and tried to sell them in America and they can't sell. I mean, the biggest film that they've had in the past few years is El Postino that was made in Rome and came and had an American success. But somehow the films that they made did not have American success, except for the films that I made because they were low budget and they went straight to video over here. And that's all, and that's, you know, that's like gravy on, uh, I'm carried away, I don't know what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs>